You found the coolest app for playing your movie collection ever. Yeah, I have to say, My Movies for the Windows Media Center. This is from a website called mymovies.dk. Now, you don't have to be a rich slob to afford a slick media server, and I'm doing this myself. Uh, I'm already using this to access my DVD and Blu-ray collection that is archived to my network attached storage device. And I'm preparing, uh, because of all of this sudden content I'm adding <laughs> to my network storage device, I need to expand my my drives from their current, uh, I think I'm using four 250 gig drives to four one and a half terabyte drives. Oh, just you need lots of storage when you start recording and archiving your Blu-ray collection and your DVD collection. If you consider that, you know, your typical Blu-ray movies around, I don't know, say 30 gigabytes on average, anywhere from 25 to 50 or so. That's a lot of data to be moving. Dude, I, uh, I, I, I tried to use the PlayStation 3 controller on here, <laughs> which you'll be talking about later, and I took yes. us from your fabulous movie application to recorded TV, so... I will bring it back, <laughs> if it's possible. Otherwise, it'll lock up. Oh, there. Okay, here we go. The thing is, is that here's the interface. Well, let me get back to this. I only have seven titles in here right now, and these were all stored on my network attached storage. Mm -hmm. These aren't actually on my home theater PC. These are all movies you own. Totally. I'm backing right. them up using commercial software that's available right now, and I'm, I've created this look, including the album art, covers, and the related metadata, the information about who starred in the movie, when it came out, what the aspect ratio is. That's all being scraped off the internet through that service, and essentially there's a great tool I can pull up here pretty quick just to show off how you go about managing that. Now, if I insert another movie disc, mm -hmm. it will automatically look that up and offer to add it to the library. But I'm doing this not with local storage, but with network attached storage, and I'm finding it works very well. This is really, convinced. as somebody who has a two-year-old that is obsessed with removing DVDs and Blu-rays from their cases and dancing on them, which of course led to the terrible Casino Royale Blu-ray incident uh, uh, recently, I will be replacing oh, no. my copy of Casino Royale because I had not backed it up. This is an awesome piece of software. I like it. You know, I can hand somebody a $20 remote that's fairly indestructible and then go to, go to town on my collection. Right. While your collection is safely locked away. For exactly. The discs are put away in the closet, stored where nobody can touch them. Is this technically a violation of the DMCA if you live in the United States? I or? think if you're... I, you are decrypting discs. Right. You can, you can actually decode these discs and make them into digital files to store on a, on a storage system and still retain all the copy protection if you wanted to. But I think either way around it, it's a gray area, no doubt. Okay. So keep that in mind. But this is for content I own and a way for me to access and manage it easily in a way that I like to do it, where I don't have to go hunt for a disc. Right. I can just scroll through titles visually and be able to go and access and play those at my heart's content. And they look good. And they do. And Does it, it preserves all of the, basically, the extras and ex the, exactly. the and commentaries if, and the multiple languages. And my movies even deals with multi-disc sets really well. So mm -hmm. if it, it knows when you drop your disc and, oh, this is part of a multi-disc set, uh, would you like to also add in that information as well in case? So you could have one jewel case uh, representation on the screen and it could access any of those four. It'll say, oh, which of the four discs do you want to look at? Kind of thing. It's cool. I have to say, it's so far so good. This does encourage me though to maybe upgrade the uh, CPU processing power. It'd be nice to have something a little more peppy than say Intel's Atom as far as uh, <laughs> digging through lots of data like this. This is a, this is a, this is an application that that begs for a Core i7 processor you know, on the acquisition side I'm of really, things. Really, I'm tempted now to build a low cost system, but just as much power as you can get out of it. Well, that one, the Atom could go in the bedroom and the main system go in the living room and everything goes on the network attached storage. And and I, you're 21st century man. And I just need six terabytes now in the living. Well, in my storage closet. I, this is just getting out of hand. <laughs>